Welcome to Sincerely V. I am Vanessa Jan, and before I get into my conversation with my guests, I have to thank Traditions for their beautiful location and, of course, my beautiful jewels, which is also from Traditions, located in both Osu and East Legon. Bello Edu for clothing me every single week in some amazing pieces, and, of course, Asari Prince for making me look like perfection. My guest for today, she is a television presenter. She's gorgeous. She's loving. She's embracing. She is the mom of an amazing young boy. My guest for today is Jifa Gray. Hi, Jifa. Hi, Vanessa. Okay, so it's been long since we were supposed to meet. Yes. So I'm glad it's finally happening. Same here. I'm very excited. I'm very excited about Thank you. this exclusive with you. Thank you. I feel like we're just going to have the girl chat that we haven't had in a very long yeah. time. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I'm always, I've been on your show, so yes. to have you now is like, okay, let's see what I can get out of Jifa. <laughs> Jifa, I want to start off with, I want us to get straight into the conversation. Yes. And something that has been trending, uh, trends often on Twitter, mm -hmm. is single motherhood. Mm. You are a mom to, like I said, an amazing young boy. Thank you so much. Um, I think you do a marvelous job. Let's, I want to get into your frame of mind of when you were first expecting what was your emotion I, I know you're taking me back and I yes. think for, for a while now I have been out of it because I've built myself out of that pain but right. when I was expecting I mean you know the beginning of the whole relationship is always different mm -hmm. you know it always has, has to be that moment you know those moments where you think there's nothing like that ever on earth, right? And you have the perfect, you know, relationship ever. Right. But I think that eventually I realized that it wasn't. And I mean, how I got to know wasn't very fair. Okay. It was very brutal. So the pain actually carried on through my 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 pregnancy. Oh wow! Uh, I mean, when you're with a man and you realize that this is you're not the only one and it's somebody else and and you you get to see it face to face. It's not right. a pleasant one, but I think we've all grown out of it now. So, but then talking about the pregnancy, the journey of my pregnancy, it was full of pain. I think okay. that I had to mold myself to believe that I'm going to have the best out of it. Right. And of course. Yes. A, a child is definitely Indeed. a blessing. And, and and so I act to every day of my life life during my pregnancy I had to say positive things to myself right. and I because I, I mean we were together at that time and I didn't really like the reception I think he was really trying but right. because of the incident you the were, reality exactly I, I was already in my it was like a video that plays every blessed day of my life and it, it, it depends on me how I how far I want to take right. it and so I was trying to channel myself out of it every moment of my life during right. the pregnancy so it wasn't a very exciting bit where hey I'm pregnant and right. then he comes up from work and I, hey hi Everything you know, and all the rubbing no, of the belly like that. And it, it was oh hi how are you and then oh, i'm wow. always alone and then this oh, is wow. me praying this is me saying great things about my pregnancy right. and, and one of the beautiful things i asked god and i got it is that god give me a great great son a great oh, and a yeah. handsome son right and because i remember one time he said to me okay you better have a boy you know like they, they say it in yeah. a way but it is the fact. Right. People have different ways of asking you questions right. or saying things to you. Right. And I'm not a kid. I mean, I got it right. So it was it wasn't my prayers. And oh. look, fantastically, with God's help and You've grace upon me, to. and knowing what I was going through, and knowing He knew what I was gonna right. be and how it was gonna come out of right. it. He gave me a very great Mr. son. Who I, I always say, Mr. Pre I call him Mr. President. And I believe, look, this boy can be president. He can, he can be anything, he can be especially with Jifa Gray as his I mom. I will push my son. Of he course, knows you have it. To. How old is he? Dylan is eight now. He'll be he's nine in eight. August, and he's coming soon. I mean, I've been away from him for two years, two okay. and a half years now. Where is so he? So like, he's in London. Okay. And amazing. Look, this is where I say that when people deserve to be praised, you praise them entirely, fully. Yes. yes. And and his father has been of great help, regardless how it started. Right. I think we all realize that we're growing, and we all have to play the role as parents right and his father I discussed with him saying look I want to come to Ghana and I don't want to stay in England anymore and I want to settle here yeah and he said okay fine I mean he was here and he had to move over there because he wanted to come and I said why don't you stick with him in school I mean right. he's in school yeah so take care of him while I come here and build my ground yeah and then he said no problem and I've been here oh. for over two years and he's finally coming I'm very excited Exciting. and I must tell you Vanessa uh -huh. sincerely Dylan's father has done a great job 
Absolutely. You know, there is nothing like having your child, a son would spend great time with the father, father and learn what it's men true. must know. And I think Dylan is so mature now. I talk to him and Aww. he tells me stuff. He's yeah. like, Mommy, have you done this? How are things going? Right. And this is me thinking, you're my son. Are yeah, you my husband? You're like, you know, he, he you're asked, he's, he's your baby. Very relevant questions right. and, and, and consoles me. And I, I'm able to talk to my son because I did that from the moment when, I was pregnant. Yes. So we have Aww, that beautiful that relationship. Also, how has it been being a single mom? What what would you say has been one of the biggest disadvantages? I think the biggest disadvantage is for me not really spending much time with my son because when you're a single parent and you're a single mother, I mean, you have a child and he's not around. It's, it's one pain that right. you go through. But apart from that, I think you really have to plan well and also, even relationship-wise. Yes, you know, who's you, coming into your who's life. Who's coming and what they want. I've been in relationships where they've been fine, you right. know, especially this particular two relationships where I thought I was, I was actually going to get married. Yeah. But, and then everything was fine. And then you realize, and they tell you, look, I love your son. He's, he's a great kid. And, but you see, they also have their own mindset. Right. And you can't do anything about right. it. But in the moment I realized that it was because I was a single parent and all that, I was like, you know, well, hey, I'm gone. Yeah. I really, I think that in, in one it's way or the other. It's not about pity. No, it's not. It's right. not about that. It's about you being matured and eventually we're going to have our own kids. Exactly. And, you know, if you're not a father yet, this is an opportunity for you. For you to practice. To yes, of course. <laughs> so I, I, I thought that, look, it wasn't really pleasant. But look, I tell you. Guys, great guys, great men come around and they're yes. excited about the fact yes. that I, I am a single parent now yes. and I don't even want them. I don't want it. Really? I don't want it. I don't want it. Why? I don't want because I just feel like, look, I don't want it. It's just at the point, I'm at a point where I just want to build my career, career. And, and also see where my son is going to be. You right. know, he's eight now. And so at least let me see him grow be get to right, a stage where I, I know agree. Dylan and then he would understand. I mean I he's agree. a kid, he, he his father got married last okay. year. He came to Ghana. And how how, how did your son how was your son's reaction? Okay, so this to is that? this is very funny. This is my son in the living room. He came, you know, they came together mm -hmm. and I was like, Hey Dylan, what's up? He's like, Mommy, Daddy is getting married. I said, Oh really? Do you like her? Do you like the woman? She's like, kind of. <laughs> and I said, Why? He was like, Oh mommy, she's nice. She's really good to me, but I wish you and daddy but were she, together. Yeah. And this Does is that me affect saying, you though? No, you see. I talk to my son. It does. I mean, because from day one, obviously, I didn't date him, so we break up and right. have a kid you and really go You really thought this would ways. be something long-term. Yes. But then, I, you see, I have been able to bury this pain okay. in my own way. Okay. So, And because of where I want to go to, this is me always trying not to set back. So right. I talk to my son. I was like, Dylan, look, things happen. Yeah. And, you know, it wasn't really our oh, fault. It's just right. that it didn't work out. So right. Mommy, I understand. I, I do understand you. And he has a way of just brushing it off. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so so what are we doing mommy you know but do you think is it okay that he's brushing it off because this is for like the, uh, the single moms out there you know yeah. I think this is definitely gonna help them also in building a relationship with their children yeah. especially single moms yeah. Do you feel like he's brushing it off because he doesn't want to feel the pain is he actually brushing it off because he is okay with the situation Vanessa this is a beautiful question it's a billion dollar or <laughs> billion question to ask and I'm happy you did and that makes you a great host. Thank you, I'm Diva. telling you, Vanessa. I, and I'm going to be very sincere to you. Mm -hmm. This whole situation has affected my son. I mean, a couple of months ago, he had to go and see the psychologist because, wow. you know, yeah. things were affecting him. Right. This is him in London, this is me here and his father. And it's not as if we get, we get along, but should, there's all, he's married now. Right. And I know how to give that space. Right. But I'm not giving my son space because he is my son. He's your son, And of you course. have to let me get involved. Right. And I think it wasn't like that from the beginning, but now he's really accepted that. So it's right. working out. But you see, it's a gradual process. It's not gonna be a speedy one. Right. And so sometimes I'm like, oh, I feel like, oh, maybe you should really speed it up. So it has affected my son and he's been asked by his therapies. I mean, they give us the report yeah. after the whole session. And this is my son saying, yeah, I, I, I'm confused. I don't know whether I want to stay with my mother or my mm. father. And then they tell him to take his time yeah. and really decide. And they ask me where he's like, very excited. Right. And because of the time he spent with his father, he You're also loved there. his father. Right. And I'm happy about it, right. but I am the mother. 
and you want your and child and there is no way you. i'm leaving my child for another woman i agree i would love the fact that dylan would visit his father of course and spend time with his other mother right. you know because they're going to be kids and right. they have to be family right. i would do anything to embrace that right. but he is my own exactly and he has to be with me i agree so he's been affected one way or the other and um jifa you know there's also this topic of oh um single moms uh I, I, it was on the blogs the other day they'll never get married you know, I've been on platforms with some certain characters in this country uh -huh. where they talk nonsense. Right. It's just bare... Nonsense. Nonsense. Yes. Let me be very specific. And why would you make a statement like that? There are single parents who are very successful. Right. They, they learn from their mistakes and they've made sure that, look, they put through. Right. And so why would you actually make a statement or go on and blog on something like that? It's right. just, it just Especially when they're sense. not in the situation. Exactly. And there is no woman that gets into a relationship and say, I want to be a single parent out of exactly. it. Exactly. Even guys. Exactly. They go in there hoping to build it up because it all, it all started with love, right? Right. So how can it turn to something of that right. sort? And so, you know, you have no right to make, I mean, you look, fine, write whatever, blog whatever, send whatever, post whatever, but when, until you get into that situation, you can't say then you it. know. And I give a prime example, I give always my mom. Yeah. She was a single mom oh, for five oh, years. Oh, wow. Yeah, until she met my stepdad. Yeah. So when people have this, oh, women who were, single moms yeah. at one point I said yeah. but look at my mom yeah. you know she has I have two siblings from my mom and my stepdad wow. and we're one family yeah. you know I think so, I've seen pictures of yeah, you my and siblings, yeah. you know so I, when I hear that I'm just like I read the blogs and I always tweet because I'm yeah. like you guys are frustrated because yeah, you don't yeah. even know yeah. what you're speaking. I think that they got, you see, it's a whole illusion thing. Right. You know, when they want to be in their own minds yes. and their own world. Yes. And you see, Vanessa, what I've come to realize is that tomorrow isn't guaranteed for you. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. Right. You wake up and you plan. I woke up today and mm -hmm. I wanted to be here on right. time. But something happened. Exactly. But it's still happening. Right. It's not thinking about the problem, it's not dwelling on it, and it's not accusing people and making them feel terrible. Right. It's looking for the solution. And I think that that's what some people refuse to, Understand. and it's probably because they have it on the silver platter, yes. or they're not there yet. Well, right. you will get there. You will. You, oh, you I think there's this also this it. image of what happiness is, but I think that's also people's minds what what's your happiness doesn't mean it's someone else's happiness there is one bit piece that i've learned and i i miss my mother so much may her soul rest in peace and i i realized my mom really had fun she enjoyed her life before dying and during the her, her last days right. i mean it was very impromptu nobody thought that was gonna my mom actually died in my arms on the way to the hospital and it, it was a week a monday we had gone to the beach and we we're fine it was just a little argument and you know yeah. bp and all that but one thing i realized was that my mom really enjoyed before dying and i, I saw my mom go through struggle because when business run down and you can't even feed your kids you can't you know this is you taking your cloth to go sell right. to give your kids money for food right. when they come back from school there was this time when my mom gave me her cloth to go and give it to a woman at the back of her house called her jay mommy this is one guy woman who who doesn't take it easy at all <laughs> but you see i took it and the woman said yashia meaning go home right and so i went home and the woman came back and brought back the cloth and gave my money my mom some money and then she told my mom never to do that again oh, wow. but this is a matter i realized that my mom had gone through some great times because when i was younger it wasn't that bad it was right. great you know, she was. Did a, you grow up in a two-family home? No, I didn't. Mom. So this is another uh -huh. thing, and it's you see, it's all the root thing. But you see, there is life when you make life right. very exceptional for you. My my mom met my dad when they went for a funeral. Okay. And so that was how it happened. Okay. But then they've been families have been trying to hook them up. You know the family uh, arrangements yeah. and all that. So the pregnancy happened. Okay. Okay. And then this is my mom coming back to Accra and the, with a pregnancy. And then after I was born, I was about four years old when my father came from the village. So my mom, wow. I, I remember coming home from school one time and I was like, who, who is that mad man in the living room? And my mom knocked <laughs> <laughs> She's like, My mom gave me a terrible neck on. 
sorry, knock. a terrible knock on my head. Yeah. And this is me saying, ah, why? What did I do? Yeah, it's just I a just question. Had, you know what? They, you know how the people yeah. are when they're in the village. They are not really particular about what right. to wear. They right. come to. Aww. You see, probably he was wearing his best clothes, and then eventually I realized the change in my father. And that's when I say my mother would always be a great woman of substance with true love, you see. But then it didn't work out. Didn't. People change when they see the bigger picture. And probably my, my father actually did, not probably, my father yeah. did. And he's, he's regretted about that. And right. he's trying to build that solid relationship with us now, which is okay. But I say that, look, it's not good to enjoy before you suffer. It's go through the suffering that and have good. some great memories for your, for your generation. Before we take a break, what advice would you give to single moms? Look, it is not easy being a single mother, but it is easy with God. I think that you have to cut your quota according to your, your size. size. Mm -hmm. That's one bit too, because if your child, okay, so we live in a community where everybody thinks that, okay, they, they, they have something. Right. What I have is what I have. Mm -hmm. I am not going to stress myself and kill myself and end up going getting myself into some hectic situation where I'm gonna be sleeping at night and already I have been through some and right. I so don't want to get myself involved right. anymore and so cut your coat according to your size it is your family everything you do focus on that child it's not I have so much love in me and I feel there's somebody that likes me but the thing is Ooh. I think yeah there is no that is the truth and but what's I, stopping you nothing is stopping me I just feel like let me be very sure because hey Vanessa I've been through hey that's right. one here yeah, here yeah. Hey, my brother. I'm and you tired. also have your son. I, exactly. And the, the, the fact that Dylan is coming, he's moving to Ghana now. Right. Let me just make sure he's happy, he's sorted. I can't wait to have Dylan. You and Dylan and I will come on your show. You when have to come. come. Definitely. We love you. And, and so I think that's my concentration okay. now. So it's your son the, or child, the most importantly. And definitely God first. I think that you have to be extremely creative and hardworking. You know, you should know where to put, you know, your ideas and how right. to invest them. And I have also run into businesses where some of them have succeeded and others have collapsed. But you see, it's all a lesson. Right. And so I'm learning from my mistakes. But I think that at the end of the day, you have to realize that it's not only going to be that child. Right. And so you have to work extremely hard. And if you're going to get involved with anybody else, be sure, just be sure. be sure. And the ways you're sure, you see, men will come, but there is a man who will come and you will know. Ladies, are you listening? You know that, this is the guy. Yes, please let the ladies know. <laughs> and, and, and you will know that this is the guy and he's ready to wait and he, he's, you know, to invest a little that he's got within you. And I mean, the thing is, I think so far I'm really scared taking stuff from men or a man. Right. The reason is because I, I think I worked so hard that I don't want you to come and tell me and I did this yes, for you. Yes, I, I agree. I, you see, I'm not being proud. No, I mean, we're not, but I feel being... like I work hard and I'm able to do it for myself. Exactly. So don't make it look like, okay, when it's you came around, you. I existed. No. Well, <laughs> God made me exist, not you. Yes. So, I mean, look, sisters, I mean, single fathers are there. Yes. That's another one to yes. tackle, but I think you have a great father to. to I have, have this to try to get a, a single with. father on, yeah. definitely. But hey, and be happy. Yes. Sometimes it's hectic. But it's not, most but times you, I'm sad. Me too. I'm in my room, and I look when I'm out, and I see people. But I'm I always have. I'm, I'm, when I'm I in my room <laughs> alone, it's a whole different thing. I'm. What's yeah. gonna happen tomorrow? What yeah. do I have to do next yeah. week? There's yeah. a lot of pressure. Yeah. And your heart beats yeah. so hard. But thinking. no one sees that. No, they just God see that. My God does. God yeah. does. And that's why He allows you to keep shining. Amen. 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 We're gonna take a quick break. When we get back, Jifa Gray, the TV personality, we're gonna get into why she chose media. Hmm, I've always wondered. This is Sincerely V. I am Vanessa Jan. We will be right back. Real women, real voices.